today we are going to show you the difference between an e-bag travel bag that we are going to replace with a Duluth trading bag. Uh, we've had the e-bag for a while. There's a number of things that uh, attracted us to it, the utility, the functionality, and uh, the versatility of the bag. And we were hoping to have uh, some longevity out of it. We'll go into why we're actually replacing the bag. We're gonna walk you through everything you get with the e-bag. So first off, you see that it is e-bags. And on the side, you'll, we'll show you there is a travel pouch for a water bottle. I'll tell you from experience, this is worthless. The bag, the, the pocket itself doesn't, it isn't actually deep enough for the water bottle. The water bottle, if you put it in there and you're walking and uh, wearing it as a backpack, the water bottle will bounce out. And the, uh, in addition to that, you can't put any type of hydro flask or any other type of water bottle. It's barely large enough for the 12 ounce water bottle that you saw. Next, on the front pocket, uh, typically I travel with headphones in this pocket. You'll see a charging cable and I keep a toothbrush and toothpaste. You never know when you're gonna need to freshen up. Give you an idea of the size. You could fit two or three water bottles in this pocket. It is soft sided and will not protect items but uh, headphones and I usually keep my over the ear style for longer listening and my in ear style and then also my Bluetooth uh, for conference calls. Next pocket is this front pocket. Uh, this is for documents, quick access. Um, I keep zip fizz in here. We'll show you that uh, once we find it and keep these in here just for when you're on the go um, oftentimes I'm able to get a bottle of water from where I'm stopping and, and talking with people and uh, the Zip Fizz gives me the ability just to spice up the water a little bit, get a little uh, vitamin B in there. The next pocket is an expanded pocket, so this is also quick access. You can see that uh, you have a number of zippered op pockets inside here. I keep business cards in the front pocket here, the business cards I hand out and the business cards I collect. In this pocket, I keep another business card holder. This is CVOD Enterprise business cards. We'll show you those. You can see this is the CVOD Enterprises. And then the earplugs. Um, sometimes we're traveling and you just need some sound isolation, whether it's a loud machine shop or a manufacturing facility, or you just need some sleep on the plane. You do have a couple slots for pins. Uh, you can see a pen and a sharpie here. I keep a sharpie handy because it, it's always nice to be able to write. And then we have two more uh, larger zippered pockets we'll show you. The first one is about six inches deep. You can see how deep it is. Uh, th that's for documents and passports and such. The next one is significantly larger. You could fit a small tablet in here along with additional business cards. And then there is a uh, accordion pouch. Uh, that gives you the ability to stuff a water bottle in there or um, something else, you know, other things that you want to hold tight. Um, you, you do have the ability to do that. The water bottle actually fits a lot better in that pocket than the one that it's intended for. And the last one is a netted zipper. Uh, the netting actually is really nice. It gives you the ability to see, as you can, as you can see there, what's on the inside. So if you need to grab the uh, ear air uh, protection you can see that if you're grabbing business cards you can see that uh, very easy to see that so uh, we'll close that up and we'll show you the next pocket the next pocket is a a quick access uh, to the interior of uh, that includes a tablet sleeve so we'll show you but there is a padded tablet sleeve inside here it also gives you access to if you kept a pad of paper or some other documents in there um, so we'll rotate the backpack and we'll open up the next pocket. So this is, uh, so this is the weekender. So this is intended for, uh, to be able to pack, uh, with clothes. You can see here, 
uh, the TSA Travel Sentry approved. So you can fold this open, you can have your laptop on the back side, you can have all your clothes here um, and easy access through TSA. On this side you can see this flap folds down and you see the laptop sleeve there uh, is a neoprene padded sleeve. Just keep your tablet in there nice and tight and it gives you access to both of those. So if you are going for a day trip or a weekend trip, uh, I find this bag is large enough for a night trip, but not a weekend trip. And then we will zip that up and we'll show you the last pocket here. This is your main laptop access. So inside this one, you'll see uh, I keep my notepad in here and then also there is another neoprene padded slot for a laptop. I travel frequently with uh, at least one tablet and oftentimes two laptops. So I use the laptop sleeve for the most important and put the other one where that notepad is. And then we'll get that zipped up, we'll flip it over. And on the back side here, you'll see that there is a padded back, a uh, very nicely padded back. It is ergonomic and it also has that channel for airflow. So as you're walking through the airport and this is resting against your back and it is heavy, uh, gives you that ability. Uh, inside is a sleeve. This allows you to slip that over your carry-on luggage and keep it nice and secure. And on the back side, there is this last pocket. Uh, this is actually a pocket for where I keep electronics uh, and cables. So we have our accessory pack. You could keep your toothbrush and toothpaste in there. If you hear that knocking, that is a hard case that is intended to protect the uh, contents. So you can keep your glasses and your goggles, uh, anything that you're worried, it is intended to be crush proof. And then finally on the bottom, we'll show you the bottom of the backpack. That is a Cordura fabric, I think is what it is called, but it is uh, very, it is reinforced and stiff. So you'll see the Cordura fabric here and now the difference between that and just the padding on the back, you can see the abrasions and the wear from many trips. So that is the e-bags weekender travel bag that we are replacing. The reason we are replacing it is the handle on the top side here, you'll notice that black, that black piece there, that's supposed to be sewn on the inside. So that grab handle, the elastic on it has actually ripped out on one side. So you can't pick it up with that grab handle. Um, eventually that is going to snap off. Uh, we've only had this a couple years. I do travel for work. I have used it, um, but for the price, I kind of expected those handles to last a little longer. So it does have that top grab handle. And then if you want to hold it as a uh, briefcase style, You'll see a grab handle also on the, on the side there. You can see that so you can grab it, grab it and go quickly. Um, I do typically use this both as a vertical backpack and horizontally also as a briefcase style. Um, and so this is the e-bags weekender and we'll show you the Duluth coming up next that uh, is going to replace this. Uh, we're hoping to get a better longevity out of that one. As we conclude our review of the eBags Weekender bag, want to give a big shout out to YouTube's best hand model. I think she did wonderful. If you do too, leave a comment below. Aww. Like and subscribe to CVOD Enterprises and check out our other review of the Duluth Beef Case.